Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart forms and in the previous videos we studied how to go for graphics, yes, how we can uh, display the graphics based upon the condition. Now we will go for next topic, our next topic is creation of alternative, word itself is saying what is alternative? Alternative is always, always has two values. One is true and another is false. If we want to print something when the condition is true, we will write under the true node. If the condition is false, if we want to print something, when the condition is false, yes, we will write under the false node. But itself is saying alternative. We can go for true or we can go for false. You can simply consider it as a if condition also. If the condition is true, we will print something. If the condition is not true or you can say if the condition is false, we will print something and widely, widely used concept. And yes, many times we want to print something if the condition is true. And if we want to print something, if the condition is not true. So for the best understanding, I will take a particular requirement. Now what customer is saying? Customer is saying, if the payment mode is credit card, if the payment has been done through credit card, rather than order date, it should print payment due date and the value will be order date plus 30 days. I will again repeat the requirement, but the requirement is if the payment mode is credit card, Rather than order date, we want to print payment due date and that date will be order date plus 30 days. If the payment has done through other options means net banking or debit card, then simple, simple is it will display these four things. If the payment has done through credit card, Rather than order date, we need to print payment due date. That will be order date plus 30 days. Rest is as it is. Have you seen? We want to print these. We want to print this. If some condition is true, if the condition is not true, we want to print some different things. So how, how we can achieve this particular requirement through alternative. And yes, in the projects, yes, many times this kind of requirement is there. We want to print something if the condition is true. We do not want to print, yes, if this condition is not true. So what we will do, we will simply, simply achieve this requirement through alternative. Now, if you remember, this particular thing, header values, is, is we are displaying as a part of template. We created a template for the same. If I will go for this header values window, in this window, we created the template and we have these eight text. So what I will do, I will simply, simply copy this template. So I will create a copy and I will paste in this particular window itself. So now we have template 2 and template 3. Template 2 in as of now, what is template 2? In the template 2, we have order date, payment mode, total cost and currency. So template 2, whatever is under template 2, it will display 
if the payment mode is not credit card means it is debit card or net banking now template 3 will display yes if our payment mode is credit card credit card it means in the template 3 we need to go for the changes means rather than your order date but we need to write now payment due date so i will double click see i am going for the changes in template 3 template 2 is as it is i will double click then we will create alternative i will go to text editor I will go for go to change editor. Now, rather than order date, what we need to write now, payment due date. I will go for back button. Now, rather than we want to print order date, we need to print whatever is order date plus 30 days we want to print. So, what I will do? I will write the logic for the same. So I will go to global definitions. I will go for global data. Suppose I will declare or I will declare one variable. Suppose I will say LV underscore payment date type. I will use the same to same data element which is for that date. I will check in that table itself. I will go for same to same data element which is for order date. You all know but the best way to declare a variable is variable name type data element. Now I will write the logic for the same. So what is our logic? Our logic is if the payment mode is credit card, credit card, and your payment mode is coming into this internal table, you are fetching the payment mode from order header table. It is coming into this internal table. From the internal table, you are passing to work area. It means the work area hyphen, what is the column name payment mode? You can see, you can, you gave the column name as payment mode. So we will check if work area hyphen payment mode is equal to, C. I will write if ls underscore data hyphen payment mode if it is credit card you all know we have one word for the credit card is c then we will simply simply write 30 days to the date so i will write lv underscore payment date is equal to order date plus 30 now your order date is in which variable work area hyphen order date and we want to add how many days 30 days now i will take it as a output parameters so here i will simply simply write lv underscore payment date Now, in this template 3, I will go for text, this particular text. I will change the description also so that there will not be any confusion. Value of payment due date. Here also, I will change the description. Payment due date. 
Now I will print here. Now we do not want to print order date. We want to print the payment due date. So I will go for go to change editor. Now rather than order date, now we will display that variable. LV underscore payment underscore date. Now I will check the syntax up to this level. It is correct. Now the real topic, we need to create alternative now. See, we created one more template, yes. And in this template, everything is same. We change two things. We change one label. Label is payment due date. And we are printing the value of payment due date. We have written the logic for the same. If our payment mode is not credit card, we will display this template. If our payment mode is credit card, we will display this particular template. So what I will do? In this window, I will create a template now. Create. I will create a template. Now, sorry. In this window, I will create a alternate. Sorry, it's my mistake. Template already created. So we will create a alternative. So how to go create flow logic alternative. And you can see when I created the alternative, two things came automatically true and false. Okay. So whenever our payment mode is credit card, credit card, yes, we will display this template three. If our payment mode is not credit card, we will display this template too. So what I will do, I will simply put template three in true condition and I will put template two in false condition. Simply drag and drop and you can see, you can confirm, you can see under true, we have the template under false, we have the template. Now the question comes, we need to give the condition now. If the payment mode is credit card, yes, it will display template three. If the payment mode is not credit card, yes, it will simply, simply display template two. So you can double click on the template. Double click on the template condition. Now here, in which particular work area, which particular column you have the payment mode. So I will simply write LS underscore data hyphen, which column payment mode. And I will give the relational operator. What is the relational operator? Just double click equal. Now, what is the value of relational operator? C. C means credit card. If the payment mode is credit card, the condition will be true. So this particular part will execute. If the payment mode is not C, the condition will be false and it will simply print which is the part of your false condition. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate. For the best understanding, we will simply, simply understand in the debugging mode. So I will go to initialization. So breakpoint is already written. So I'll just put it here. So that before that itself, it will stop and we can check the value. I will check in the table. What are the various order numbers where payment mode is C and other than C. Okay. 
फॉर द ऑर्डर नंबर वन टू सिक्स पेमेंट मोड इज सी फॉर द ऑर्डर नंबर सेवन पेमेंट मोड इज डी इट मीन्स इफ वी विल गो फॉर ऑर्डर नंबर वन टू सिक्स इट विल प्रिंट पेमेंट ड्यू डेट एंड ऑर्डर डेट प्लस थर्टी आई विल सिंपली सिंपली रन आई विल गो टू ड्राइवर प्रोग्राम आई विल रन आई विल गिव ऑर्डर नंबर सपोज आई विल गो फॉर ऑर्डर नंबर वन आई विल गो टू एक्सिक्यूट I'll put that device print preview. I'll go to desktop three, and you can see payment mode is credit card. If the payment mode is credit card, it is simply simply adding thirty days to the order date. As of now, it it is eleventh May. Now, whenever thirty days is added, if I'll check LV payment date. there you can see it is 10th june now i will go to execute and you can see we are getting payment due date previously it was order date coming always now the condition is true so we are able to print the payment due date now i will go for other option i will go for order number 7 now for order number 7 yes we have the payment mode is debit card now you can see payment mode is debit card so this particular logic will not execute and yes our payment mode is debit card and during alternative what we gave we gave the condition yes if payment mode is c template 3 will execute if payment mode is not c template 2 will execute which is the part of false and in the false we have order date if i will go for simply execution and you can see it is printing order date and value of order date you can check in that table we have the this is the order date an important and widely used concept in the project we have so many requirements like this in which customer want different different values based upon different different conditions so in that case you can create alternative so what is the summary of the video in this video we covered alternative word itself is saying alternative it means we have true also we have false also so whenever you will create alternative you will get two nodes true and false whatever you want to print as as a part of true node just put into true node whatever you want to print as a part of false node put under the false node so we took one condition what is the condition if the payment mode is credit card yes we will simply simply print payment due date and the payment due date will be order date plus 30 if the payment mode is not credit card it will simply simply print the order date so what we did in the same window we simply created a copy of the template and in that template we have changed the label to payment due date and rather than order date we are displaying now payment due date we declared one variable for the payment date we have written one logic for the same payment due date and yes we created one alternative and in the alternative we have written the condition in the true we drag and drop the template 3 in false we drag and drop the template 2 and we understood the output in the debugging mode so that's it in this particular video thank you